Because of a cancelled train on Monday morning, I had to arrive rather early at Ravenglass. In fact, three hours before my Estelle train was due to leave. So I thought I'd wander around and see what I can photograph, considering the light was very good. Pretty soon, I spotted some rabbits browsing in the Ravenglass and Estelle Railway Adventure Playground, so I photographed and videoed them. After that I walked around the harbour and the main street at Ravenglass. And then on to have a look at the Roman baths, followed by walking back past the sheep. And then wandering around taking a look at the steam trains, especially River Esk, which was to take us up to Eskdale. I arrived at Tim's Tarn about 11.30 and shortly afterwards I saw some black darters, including this mating pair. There were also emerald damselflies around, but that's what I hadn't, not what I'd come to see. I was hoping to see common hawkers, which I often see at Tim's Tarn, but this time I saw no less than five males simultaneously, as well as one mating with a female, though I didn't manage to photograph that. I also had my best session ever at photographing them at this site. After that I made my way along the Estale Trail to Forest Howe, hoping to see red squirrels. But Peter Trimming had warned me that because of the very good hazel mast this year, the squirrels might be uh, confined to the forest. Indeed it turned out that I didn't see a single one all afternoon, though some nuts did disappear from Forest Howe Wood indicating that at least one had been active just after five o'clock. Tuesday morning saw me in Forest Howe Wood at six o'clock and at quarter past Derek, the oldest of the squirrels, duly arrived. I show here a photo of him perching behind me, scratching himself. After seeing Derek in the wood, there were no more squirrel sightings until quarter to eight, until eight at, through eight o'clock, just before breakfast. These were Derek on the fell side log, on the feeding stump on the lower fell side, and Holly on the fell side log, and Floppy Tail dashing up. Um, Nutkin's tree on the lower fell side. There were no other squirrel sightings that morning. In the afternoon I saw a roe deer in the meadow, as you can see here.
Wednesday morning saw me in Forest Hall Wood with Peter Trimming, who had arrived the previous evening. Here I am photographing Holly, the first arrival. She then moved up to the lower fell side. Here you can see Peter Trimming watching her on the Nutkin's tree. After breakfast I walked into Mitredale with the hope of seeing golden ring dragonflies. But although I saw common hawkers and common darters, I had no luck with the golden rings. I did however see these two donkeys on the way. Thursday afternoon saw me photographing Isla Grace, who had not been seen for a couple of months. She then moved up to Nutkin's tree where I photographed her there too. Thursday morning saw me in Forest Howe Wood, first photographing Holly and then Derek appeared. But the real star of Thursday morning was Floppy Tail. Here on the lower fell side we see him facing up to the milk pail challenge. Generally Thursday was a rainy day. In the afternoon Peter and I were in Forest Howe Wood when we momentarily spotted two squirrels clashing and they seemed to settle down and peacefully coexist. We concluded that one was a female and the other was her juvenile. I could see teats on the photo I took here. It appears that this mystery female is the same one that Peter has photographed in May of this year.